1995, during the Qing Dynasty, um, Taiwan was in a big political predicament after China signed the Shimonoseki Treaty conceding Taiwan to Japan. Um, at this time, the first generation of the Ku family, my great-great-grandfather, uh, Gu Xianrong, he was, you know, he played a hefty role in rest restoring law and order of, the tai of Taiwan. After that, we have garnered major uh, business and political affluence. So at the time, my family had you know, vast ownership in land and trading ports. And Chiang Kai-shek, which was the previous um, uh, leader of ROC, Republic of China, Taiwan, offered my family you know, new privatized businesses for our land plays. So what this allowed us to do was you know, be able to, this gave us the rights to monopolistic uh, entitlements to a lot of our initial investments, including camphor, salt, sugar, and opium. So that's really the inception of history, where my family came from. And I think later on, I'll discuss more operationally about the modern day Ku family. With the help of, you know, my great great grandfather being the first Taiwanese congressman of the Upper Diet, Upper House of the Diet of, in um, Taiwan, he was able, to, you know, utilize this relationship and um, create this entity called the Cruise Group. So he founded the Cruise Group, and it was later on headed by my grandfather, my late grandfather Jeffrey Cruz Sr., and his uncle Gu Zhenfu, which was a Taiwanese diplomat. Um, so essentially, the cruise group consists of uh, cement, financial services, hospitality, leasing, and was really renowned for finding China Trust holding, a uh, financial holding, founded by, by my grandfather Jeffrey Ku Senior, and so <clears throat> my grandfather. Speaking more about my grandfather, he was an Eisenhower Fellowship awardee also a member of the APEC, Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum, what he's really renowned for. And more speaking relatively nowadays, my father, Andre Ku, is the um, chairman of uh, Chinese Group, which consists of two holding companies, one being Yellowstone Holding and the other being Chinese Holding. So Chinese Holding, uh, Chinese Group was founded in 1977, providing um, asset-backed financing to heavy industrial players. Um, which is currently still our main focus. Um, and it consists of over 45 companies, over 6,000 employees, and it's located in, and operationally in diff 13 different countries. So that's really the modern day Ku family and operationally what it looks like. Um, and yeah, for me and my, my role in this family is really being able to modernize the version of my approach is really not building in line with, but building on top of. So, what can we do to our traditional lines and make it uh, and pack and create new pack uh, packages and services and products that we can offer to our existing clients or partners in you know in the industrial spaces such as aerospace, um, automobile, and even shipyards. <laughs> so, I. I have been very blessed to be able to outsource a technology um, still in a very early stage and you know start the process of integration into the family. So that's kind of you know really what I've been working on the past couple of years. Um, like everyone here has said, you know a lot of my um, vision aligns with theirs as well because it's really about garnering the experience outside the family business for a couple years to be, to be really able to holistically understand how business works and also adoption of technology and adoption of a good eye for technology is very important for the long run. You know, technology is always very rapidly changing and automation is always a new topic. So how can we you know, as a such a traditional family uh, entity with such history, how can we, you know, tackle that and also, you know, be able to, um, you know, work with how the environment's changing? Uh, Mr. Andre Ku, uh, 
senior. Uh, he is uh, chairman of New York NYU uh, Board of Observers. So he has. Uh, it's not just a family business. I understand uh, a lot of uh, impact stuff is going on in the family. So he wants to create the right education infrastructure for the for, for the whole whole uh, uh, like let's say the planet. Uh, what I understood from his talk. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so like on, adding on top of that, so that's why we really were able to create this new program called the Andre Crew Tech MBA in NYU Stern Business School. Um, it's a one year tech program, really marrying Silicon Valley with Wall Street, um, bringing people with the tech backgrounds and really, you know, bring, uh, um, bringing them up to, you know, be sufficient financially um, in, in the finance world, I meant to say. But yeah, like you said, you know, education is a very important, um, you know, um, process of you know, upbringing to my family, and that's it's always been very valuable.